just want to start the video off by showing y'all the views I be getting in Japan. Like, this is crazy. This this looks like my intro, low key. You know, minus the sun because it's kind of still popping out. But as you can see, Fuji is right there poking out. Like, you can't, that, that's Fuji right there. It's no way you can miss that. Like, oh man. So beautiful out here. I love it. YouTube, what's good with y'all, man? I'm Mr. Gathers, and you chilling with Gathers right now. It is a beautiful day here in Tokyo, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm feeling good, feeling great. Just got off work. About to go pick my family up. But first, I'm going to hit y'all with a banger, man. So, I don't want to keep y'all here too long, right? Um, I just want to go through what I don't like about Japan. So, I've given y'all... Three pros to living in Japan, three things that I, you know, have learned from being in Japan. So I figured it's always a good and a bad, right? You can't just have everything and everything be all perfect and, and, and sweet, you know what I'm saying? So why not give you a video on what I don't like about Japan? So I'm going to keep it real with y'all, right? And I can't lie to you, you know, it's not a negative thing. It's not like I'm bashing Japan. It's not like... I don't like Japan at all. I love Japan, but there are some things that I don't like. So um, let's just get into it, man. The first thing I don't like is going to be, and this is something that I can change on my on my own. I, you know, there's a lot I can do to fix this problem. I just don't have the time to, and quite frankly, I really don't want to. But that is the language barrier. So going out and trying to communicate sometimes can get annoying so you're having to use google translate or you're just having to really fill it out and sometimes you and that person that you're talking to may just be speaking the same language through body language through eye contact through energy and you just know what's going on but other times it's not like that most of the time it's not like that you gotta have google translate so and it, it's not a bad thing you know it's something that like i said i could probably learn japanese but from what I hear, Japanese is very hard to learn, and I have other things going on that I put my focus towards. So Jap learning Japanese is not really one of them things where I want to, you know, put more of my attention to. You know, it, it would help me, in a, and you know, it would help me, but it's not something I really want to do. So um, definitely the language barrier, and I can't lie, man, they're really like understanding most of the time of people who don't speak English, and they're very, you know, welcoming and. They try to help you out if they know like you don't speak the language they'll you know they'll pull out their google translate they'll you know point at stuff and try and help you figure out what's what you know going out to eat and stuff like that and there are some areas where they actually won't serve you but it's not out of disrespect it's just because they might be an older person like maybe like an 80 year old person who owns the restaurant and they just don't want to like go through the whole hassle of the language barrier which is understandable there are places like that I don't knock it and I don't blame them because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a restaurant and if there's a language barrier, it's kind of hard to communicate, right? And if they're an older person, obviously, they probably ain't too technical savvy. So the phone is probably not something they're used to or something that they want to go through and have to type. Come on now, y'all. If anybody watching, you got a mom or uncle or a father or a grandfather using them phones for them, it's like... You already know how that is. I ain't gonna go through that, but yeah. So you know, that's that's one thing I don't like about Japan. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I didn't have so much going on, I would learn the language so I could communicate and be able to actually say, "Hey, I speak a second language," and that's something that I actually do want to learn. But right now, I just don't have the time to, and I have other things that need my attention and that require more dedication than me learning Japanese so maybe later down the line and you know some some years or so I'll I'll learn the language or maybe even Spanish who knows but yeah man that's um that's like my biggest thing being out here that I don't like and you know I can't really complain about it it's just one of the things where you have to adapt and it is what it is for the most part you feel me so the second thing is gonna be right that I, I just miss my family dog like I miss not being able to see my family and I'm not talking about my wife and kids because they're here with me, but you know, not being able to see my parents and stuff like that, my aunts, my cousins, my siblings, 
Uh, I don't really, I ain't really got too many friends outside the military, and I barely got friends in the military. Not not because I don't like people or because I, you know, for any specific reason. I'm just a, I'm a, a I'm a really, I'm a, I'm a stick to myself person. I say that I stick to myself when I'm at work. I got my, you know, people that I associate with here and there outside of work. Those are the homies and stuff like that. But I don't have like a, a friend who I could say like is my best friend or, you know, I just, I just don't have it. My body, I love everybody. I love everybody. I'm respectful to everybody. I talk to everybody. I will hold a conversation with you. I won't be disrespectful or rude to you. But yeah, man, I just miss my family, you know. Can't, com can't complain about it. I did join the military and that's what comes with the territory at the end of the day. But, you know, it's not one of them things where I'm going to sit there and cry about it. That's that's just that's just that, you know. And two, they going to come visit me. So it's like, it's not that bad. And two, I'm supposed to be leaving here in like, what, I've been here about almost nine months now or something like that. So really, I only got like two years left here. Time has been flying. So I really only got about two years left in Japan unless I decide to extend my contract out here, which I don't know if I want to do. Uh, I just, part of me wants to go back home and part of me wants to, you know, possibly go to another country and finish out because once I leave here, I'm supposed to have like two years left on my contract. So part of me is wanting to see another country. Part of me is wanting to go back home and, you know, start to settle down and build a foundation back home and really get things going for me and my family. But I just don't know yet. And, you know, I have, I have options. I have options, but we will have to see we will definitely have to see and you know I, I wouldn't mind staying in japan but it's just one of the things where you know work can change you know uh situations can change um you know you just never know the world can change like what happened with you know with the with the virus and stuff like that things can change and you know life happens so it's really no telling for real but i am more so leaning towards coming back home I'm not gonna lie to you but um yeah so Miss my family, man. Can't can't lie to you. I miss uh, I miss you know, just chilling with my pops. Honestly, I miss chilling with my pops a lot, and you know, just playing video games with my pops or going to play ball with my pops. I really I really miss that, and you know, I miss um, seeing my aunts. Really seeing my aunts because they're getting older in age, so it's like, you know, and I just. I miss them. I probably miss them the most out of anybody. I ain't gonna lie to this. Especially my beer, man. My beer, my beer. I love you. I love you, beer. If you ever see this video, I love you. Uh, yeah, I wish I could see her. Um, yeah, so shout out to her. I know she missed me too. And I, when I, that looks, that's been my, my favorite aunt since I was like, as little as I could have been. Like, beer, that's, that's my baby right there, man. That's, she always said I was her husband when I was little. She always, she always call it she always called me her husband so you know shout out to her but yeah man honestly i think those are the only two things that i really don't like about japan is just like the uh the language barrier and then just being away from family because nothing i can't really think of nothing else that i don't like oh hold on no i can so i mentioned in, a, in another video about the driving out here man so like people just ride the bike in the street dog and I don't know why they just feel so comfortable doing it. I know it's part of their culture, but like, dog, it's so annoying. Like, that, that's probably the biggest thing I don't like. If I got a family, like, I got to make sure I'm on my P's and Q's. I can't make no mistakes, you feel me? So like, they just be in the street riding. Don't be looking left, don't be looking right. Just going like, I'm like dog, like, look left, look right, slow down, something. But that, that's the culture right here. So I can't, I can't be mad at it. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. And I'm not bashing it. Um, I'm not throwing any shade towards it. I'm not disrespecting anything. That's just m how I feel about it. And those are my opinions on it, you know? And it's something that I have to adjust to. Like, we, I don't think you understand. Like, people who visit another country, they understand to, like, the smallest percentage of how you have to adapt to your environment. When you move to a different country to live, it's a whole different ball game. Now, granted, I stay on base. I do stay on base, so I don't live off base. I'm not in Japanese housing, but there are some things when you go off base, you got to deal with, and that's one of them. So, you know, I'm, I'm not tripping about it. 
you know, it's cool, man. But all in all, I love Japan, man. I, I can't stress that enough. I say that in, like, every video. But, like, being out here is, like, crazy, man. Like, it's really crazy. And you just never know, like, what you're going to run into out here. There's so much to do. Like, we literally got lost one day and ended up discovering a whole string of, like, just, like, clothing stores, sneaker stores, food spots, like, in this little, in this alleyway, we, we, it was an accident, we didn't mean to go there, it was like, whoa, so, yeah, man, but that's it for this video, man, I'm gonna wrap it up, I am about to get my family, and I'm honestly really hungry, I got me some hot Cheetos, I really ain't even to be eating those, but it's okay, because, starting November 1st, I made a promise to myself, I was gonna stick to my diet, and that's what I'm gonna do, you feel me, you know, I still be hitting that gym, you know what I'm saying, I can't show y'all much, but, you know, just know under this under this hoodie is something up under there, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, as always, I'm Mr. Gathers. You just chill with Gathers. Like the video, comment on the video. Let me know what you want to see. Stop playing with me. Let me know. Holla at me. I will answer, you know what I'm saying? Share the video. You know, do that. Let, let somebody know, like, hey, it's a good looking dude, you know, with a fresh face, you know, nice hair. Who live in Japan, man? He made dope videos. Let them know what's up, man. They can come watch my video. They can throw a like on there. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel. I did get some new subscribers in the past like, week or so. And I didn't even post videos last week. So I really do appreciate that. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep the love coming. And you know I'm going to keep my love coming. But I holler at y'all, man. I'm out.